translucent, ghostly exterior, delicate fringed gills, eyes that gleam like precious jewels gazing into the abyss, and a hauntingly beautiful appearance. This miniature water monster holds the secrets of the forgotten eons of its paradoxical, enigmatic presence. With the astonishing power of regeneration and the ability to transcend the boundaries of time defying the constraints of mortal existence, this creature stands as one of the rarest amphibians alive. Meet the modern miracle of ancient waters, the Ashulat. The Ashulat, or Axolotl as many people try to pronounce it as, Ambistoma Mexicana is an extraordinary pedomorphic salamander that is found within Lake Ocimilco and Lake Chalco, hidden within the awe-inspiring Mexican Central Valley. Intricately intertwined with its evolutionary counterpart, the tiger salamander, Ashulots exude an air of enigmatic nature, an allure, if you will. Together, they form a remarkable species, complex, encompassing all the mesmerizing Mexican salamanders. With its remarkable appearance, it strikes an uncanny resemblance to another type of aquatic salamander known as mud puppies, but is nowhere closely related to them. The Ashulat derives its name from the ancient Aztec deity, Xulat, referring to the gods of fire, lightning, and monstrous beings in Aztec mythology. As the legend goes, Xulat transformed himself into the Ashulat to escape the clutches of his fellow gods who sought to sacrifice him. Thus, the name Ashulat comes from a profound symbolism translating to water monster or water animal in the Naruto language. An adult Ashulat, at age 18 to 27 months, weighs around 2.1 to 3.8 ounces, with a length that ranges from 6 to 18 inches in general. Interestingly, even at a mature age, Ashulats exhibit characteristics commonly found in a salamander larvae, such as external gills and a tail fin that extends from the back of the head to the vent. While most salamander species lose their external gills as they mature, the Ashulat retains this trait. With a head that stretches wide and lidless eyes that never close, the males flaunt their distinct swollen cloaca adorned with papillae, while the females showcase their broader bodies brimming with eggs. To aid in their survival, three pairs of extraordinary external gill stalks known as rami emerge from the rears of their heads, enabling them to navigate oxygen-rich waters. And concealed beneath these conspicuous external gills lie four gill slits adorned with delicate gill rakers, serving as both guardians against unwanted sustenance and skilled filters, allowing only the finest of particles to pass through their intricate systems. However, what truly captures the imagination is the awe-inspiring power of regeneration. Unlike most creatures, the Ashulat possesses the uncanny ability to mend wounds without leaving a trace of scars. In a matter of mere months, these astonishing amphibians can regenerate not just individual body parts, but entire lost limbs. They can recreate tails, limbs, central nervous systems, and even the intricate tissues of their eyes and hearts. Moreover, they're willing recipients of transplants for their fellow Ashulats and seamlessly integrate their organs, fully restoring their functionality like some sort of alien. In some extraordinary instances, Ashulats have been known not only to repair a damaged limb, but also to grow another one, resulting in an extra appendage that undoubtedly captivates pet owners making the mesmerizing creatures a coveted novelty as well as a remarkable model organism for research purposes, offering a subject that's perfect for scientific investigation. But it's not only because of their regenerative prowess that these captivating creatures are actively employed in the heart defect studies, owing to a presence of mutant genes that trigger heart failure in embryos. Remarkably, despite the absence of a heart function, these embryos manage to survive almost until hatching, allowing for an unmistakable observation of the defect. Furthermore, due to striking similarities in the neutral plate and the tube formation between humans and Ashulats, these remarkable creatures are deemed an ideal animal model for exploring neural tube closure, too. As if their extraordinary qualities were not enough, the unveiling of the Ashulats genome in 2018 sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community. With an astonishing length of 32 billion base pairs, it stood as the largest completed animal genome at the time. This monumental discovery revealed specific genetic pathways that could potentially unlock the secrets behind limb gene regeneration. Despite being approximately 10 times larger than the human genome, the Ashulat genome astonishingly encodes a similar number of certain proteins found in humans. Yet one of the most bizarre features of the Ashulat makes it kind of the rarest species of the salamander and, in fact, actually the rarest species of salamander, and that is its ability to exhibit neoteny wherein it attains sexual maturity without undergoing the typical metamorphosis experienced by most amphibians. 
As young amphibians, they reside in aquatic environments, relying on their remarkable gills to breathe underwater. However, their journey takes a mesmerizing twist when they transform into adults. While their counterparts bid farewell to their aquatic homes and adapt to life on land, the Axolot clings steadfastly to its aquatic domain. Unlike its peers, the Axolot lacks thyroid-stimulating hormones, a crucial catalyst for the production of thyroxine hormone, responsible for triggering metamorphosis. Consequently, this marvelous creature retains its gills and continues to live in water throughout its entire life, even after achieving adulthood. However, when thyroxine is injected from an external source, it sets the artificially induced metamorphosis where Ashlots undergo a series of physiological changes that actually equip it to adapt to a terrestrial existence. While successfully inducing metamorphosis may seem like a triumph, the unfortunate reality is that it can sometimes lead to untimely demises, both during the process itself and in its aftermath. Therefore, such forced transformations in patent ashlots are very often discouraged. Ashlots' very habitat mirrors its enigmatic nature. Nestled in high-altitude waters, a terrestrial landscape encircles this remarkable amphibian, cultivating the ideal conditions for its neotenic lifestyle. Within this captivating environment, the ashlot assumed its role as a carnivorous predator, wielding an appetite that consists of an array of succulent mollusks and wriggling worms to tantalizing insects, otherworldly arthropods, and even the occasional petite fish. Driven by an acute sense of smell, the Ashalot swiftly detects its prey and, with lightning speed, lunges forth, snapping an unsuspecting victim with a vacuum-like force, sucking its catch into its mouth. A captive Ashalot encounters a large earthworm as its very, very delectable prey. With its remarkable olfactory senses, the Ashalot detects the tantalizing scent of the worm, setting its instincts ablaze. In a swift and calculated motion, the Ashalot lunges at its prey, employing precise jerks to generate significant vacuum force, effectively propelling the hapless worm into its stomach. Yet, the dietary choices of these fascinating creatures are not always bound by convention. When faced with the cruel grip of food scarcity, Ashalots confront a dire dilemma. Either devour the limbs of their own kin, or allow their limbs to become a feast for their companions. Interestingly, such a predicament holds no concern for the Ashalot. As aforementioned, it would regenerate lost limbs within the span of a few months. However, in certain instances, the, if an ashlot finds itself entirely engulfed by the mouth of its fellow counterpart, its fate may be sealed, destined to be devoured entirely. Thus, pet owners of these extraordinary creatures have to remain ever vigilant when housing two or more ashlots within the same enclosure. Fortunately, these pint-sized aquatic monsters lack the size and the power to pose a threat to humans, and they generally exhibit friendly behavior towards humans. Remarkably, there have been no reported incidents of ashlots causing harms to humans. However, they are known to nip at their owners on occasion, but these nibbles are entirely painless and entirely harmless, rarely requiring any professional or medical attention as long as the ashlot itself is in good health. Because, similar to many marine and aquatic species, ashlots can only be dangerous if they carry diseases that potentially can affect humans. Nevertheless, it's worth noting that ashlots do not have any poisonous substances within their bodies naturally, so if you get poisoned by one, then you did something. Interestingly, in the event of an ashlot bite, it is the ashlot itself that faces a greater risk of injury rather than the human. This fact may come as a surprise, but it's advisable to be gentle when retracting your hand or finger from their mouths if you're bitten. Yanking away too forcefully or swiftly can inflict serious harm on the ashlot, potentially damaging their delicate teeth due to the force applying when pulling your finger free. With their solitary lifestyle, they can live up to 10 to 15 years with a polygonandrous pattern of mating, leaving both males and females to indulge in multiple partners. Their passionate encounters occur between March and June, when the females lay a substantial clutch of 100 to 300 eggs. Yet despite such a number, the Ashlot population faces an uncertain future, teetering on the edge of existence. A profound threat looms over these rare amphibians, primarily driven by the loss of their native habitat. Once freely roaming the Mexican Central Valley, their domain has now been limited to the modest confines of Lake Ocamillo, a tapestry of artificial channels that small lakes, ephemeral wetlands. The shimmering waters of Lake Hocamillo, however, bear witness to the toll of human activities. Its poor water quality stands as a testament to the insatiable demands of aquaculture and agriculture in the region. But that's not all. The invasive intruders, like the Nile tilapia and the common carp, pose a menacing threat to native ashlots. Feeding upon their precious eggs and voraciously competing for limited resources, these invaders tip the scales in their favor leaving the Ashlot population on the brink of despair. As per the authoritative IUCN Red List, the Ashlot's population size hovers between a meager 500 and 1,000 mature individuals and is now classified as critically endangered, standing at the precipice of extinction. 
as their numbers continue to dwindle with each passing day. 